All right, welcome back to your balanced diet of teletainment. Now, a lot of people, they have the opinion, say we get a lot of um, conferences and gatherings where they tell us to us making the woman or the girl child better. But we get just few conferences or gatherings where they tell us to us making the boy child better. That's now why we get this gadget person in the house to tell us more concerning a new concept what they call the Boys Conversation Cafe with the Women at Risk International Foundation, founded by Dr. Kemi Dalsiva Ibru, though actually put comma. And she will tell us more concerning this Boys Conversation Cafe. Good to have you, Chichi Ogunaya, yeah, the but project be manager. Before, I need to come in at this point in time, because okay. before Chichi goes say anything, and also get a video to show people oh. on top of um, the project way then they do concerning the Boys Conversation Cafe. Okay. All right, so we need to watch them, we'll come back, and then we'll have our guests to answer more questions. Amazing. Now we actually show you that video for you to have an idea concerning and uh, within what if actually they're all about. And if you need their help, that now why the number actually they there for you um, to reach them. Just reach them on this um, the phone number. Now let's talk about the boys' conversation um, cafe before we talk more concerning other projects where Wari do actually involve themselves into. Tell us more about it. Okay. Thank you very much. As you take talk before, we get different initiatives where people they do where they targeted towards girls. And primarily for WARIF, we they targeted towards girls and, you know, women. But we can't look, say, what thing we feed do to, you know, help boys? Especially boys where we say, them feed grow to be perpetrators. We go commit the crime of sexual assault and rape where we they handle for WARIF. So we can't decide, say, make we enter schools first. Make we find out, you know, what thing we feed do. So we enter some school where they do, Larry, do focus group discussions with boys, you know, and... When we finish this focus group discussion, we can't go back, we can't say, okay, be like, say, this thing, where would they see, where would they hear? Then we just make we go out, go do things based on assumption. We confirm the things where we don't see, say, boys need to stay educated. So we decided to start the Warif Boys Conversation Cafe. The concept about the Conversation Cafe, and I just might put them into three things. One, now to educate boys, say, them don't need to be perpetrators of this act of rape and sexual assault or be bystanders where we say them go just observe where we say guy another guy they rape girl and they don't go do anything mm -hmm. about them and also to change their mindset and attitude towards the issue of rape and sexual assault because from this focus group discussion we realize from some of the boys say nah guys they rape because of say girls wear short skirts guys um, guys they rape girls because say uh, our body they show outside you know so we needed to change this mindset and also to equip them with materials tools where they need to you know protect girls in cases of um, rape or sexual assault and of course don't be saying that only girls then feel protect also to protect themselves boys from being raped or being sexually assaulted because according to statistics unicef and even from my own findings as per se one out of four girls before she reached the age of 18 go don't they raped or go don't get experience of sexual assault and for boys now one out of eight boys so the entirety of war if boys conversation cafe now to you know change the mindset of boys educate them say them need to protect girls you know minute me they not just they, they observe and also equip them with the tools with them need to take protect both themselves and also the girls with they around them wow very nice one now let's talk about um the tools now where you come as i talk okay. about say so you give this boys what are the tools Okay, so as I talked before, when we enter the first school, we'll go to the pilot. We do some sort of focus group discussion with these boys, you know, to check maybe the assumptions that we don't hear outside and from feedback where people they give us. Say, share, waiting these boys know about gender-based violence. Waiting be their opinion to issues of make another guy, they rape girls and everything. So when we get our findings from those boys, we see all the things where them talk. Say some influence now from pornography where they watch, mm. some influence now as a result of musical videos where they watch for maybe online or for their house. Some now peer pressure, say their friends go to talk, say I get babo, I don't sleep with them and everything and you know that kind of pressure go on make themselves want to wait in them not supposed to. So we can't go back, develop curriculum. And I need to mention say this now the first of its kind for Nigeria. As it is now there is no curriculum anywhere that addresses boys, issues of boys, you know. So we can't go back, develop curriculum based on the things we'll find. So we get issue of peer pressure for this curriculum. I mean, crush, things where we say these people between the age of 13 and 16, the experience, you go see, guy go say, I have a crush on that girl. Or even girls have go say, I have a crush on that boy. You know, we talked about mentorship as well. We talk about their body because as in they reach puberty age, certain things will they happen to their body, certain cravings will they come. So we teach them how their feet take handle those things. So we develop these things in-house, you know, 
attach good content where we say we take treats, train them for the period of four weeks and the fifth week now when we come to the final close out of the activity. That's right. a fantastic one. I mean, because when, when you look at the boy, like you rightly talk, a lot of very few projects will they get with concern the boy child. Now, for when you'll not be doing an observation and on the ask questions, so now we get scenario about um, boy actually trying to ra rape a fellow boy. And um, how will Natik handle that kind of situation if Unada ever gets that kind of scenario? Because now for inside Nigeria, we're getting an increasing <coughs> scare in terms of homosexuality, gay men, gay boys. And if you read one or two of their stories, you hear say they start when they were quite young. Mm. So Una don't get any scenario like that, or Una get any plan to also checkmate that um, that problem we will get for inside this our society. Okay, so we, we they get once in a while people where they call expect we be saying a boys issue, then we we'll call for say ah uh, say see see my son they you know put up this kind of attitude or uh, they uh, see this kind of signs for my boy. Because we for what if now only women we they focus on. So even if they come with that kind of issue, we know they turn them away. We get in house counselor. We be say go feed do some prep talk with the person before we come do referral to other foundations where we know where we they in collaborations with. So we say them now strictly boys, them they attend to. But of course, if they come work through our doors, we don't go say ah no, now only women would they attend to. So in such cases, when them come, our in house counselor will give you know follow the boy talk, ask some kind of few questions, go through maybe a very short counseling session with the person before we go do referral notes to our collaborating mm -hmm. boys this way free handle the case continues. Right. I've been I've been there you know I've been there present for the media party where you know we've been taking place sometime last week. And uh, first of all I want to ask which of the schools for Suruli uh, you know have been used for this uh... I don't go on. I will just talk saying I want senior secondary school okay. for Suruli. All right, all right beautiful <laughs> now from the results we I don't get now what's the what is the um you know, what's going to be the plan now to take this program spread around, first of all, starting by Lagos State, you know, how will one do this movement? Are you going to, uh, say now, from one local government to the other, or from, you know, how do you want, want to spread the movement around Lagos okay, State? Okay, so for the first pilot, a group of um, 40 boys, Naim and Joy, now they be beneficiaries of this first one, we will do. And you know, um, our, from the findings, we see, we see say the initiative it was very impactful because we they do it in what they call a pretest survey to you know find out the level with them day then when we don't finish our four weeks training session with them we can carry another post test to see the impact of the initiative and one of the things we will find out we say at least 47 percent of the boys where we said before when we go then they take alcohol well as a result of the training we will give them for that four weeks them say ah they don't see the damage where this kind of thing go do to their health and also to the academics say them go stop them 47 percent of boys you know and for the issue of clubbing the day shock, say, ah, secondary school people are supposed to focus on their books, they go club, you know, and in fact, if you say now, all the boys where we engage, they say then they go, and those 100% of them finally say, ah, as a result of this training where we don't, we don't give us so, we know go they go clubbing because m most times when we go come school in the morning, we go, they sleep for class, you know, and 41% of these ones where we say they don't been there add addicted to pornography before, say, as a result of this training, they don't see, say, pornography, you know, today, good for them, see them go, stop them. So what we don't do from the media pilot now to present these statistics, this ones where I don't mention and the other findings so we get from the project. And they look, say, we go, you know, document this thing properly. Find other agencies where we say go fit, because this first one we will do now, like I talked, now one school for Sule under District 4. So we they look at spreading, we know, I found and our person, we say our vision now to make sure, say, reduce rape for Nigeria completely, you know, both for changing the mindset of people, where if cause this thing and the people where they are affected, which is the girls, you know. So we did make sure, say, we we'll doc document all these findings, then we will present them, you know, we, that's why we we'll do all this, our media tour and everything, so that people where they listen to us, go we'll come partner with us, sponsorship, because, I mean, these things what we we'll do now, money, and most of our initiatives now from our founder pocket. Now, in fact, but, now, you now, know, now the next week, I won't ask, say, how, but how don't get people, come But we don't get people where don't support us, like Diamond Bank now, then partner with us for our West, 2.0 and also this boys worry boys conversation cafe last year we will come we talk about our gatekeepers initiative we'll be saying our aspire coronation trust foundation acts foundation and then sponsor that one we also get individuals we'll be say they walk in you know then we'll say they want donate we get people go we'll say our online social media campaign then we'll say ah we love what you're doing we want to support your work you know then we'll give us money so as we they talk to now now and i say i feel right check so truly we're show. actually calling out everybody where they are there we actually um seek to see changes in both the girl child and even the boy child, most especially as the case may be. So please call.
come out and support this great initiative because truly um, the boys child they actually need lots of attention and lots Correct. of training as regards to how to comport themselves and how to behave because they really contribute to the improvement of a society now I know so when I get plans of going to public schools yes you have plans right now major now majorly government schools where they work with perfect because we see say now them be the you know Underserved people basically. and most vulnerable for our community. I mean, personally, I don't say rich man became no feed day vulnerable. We don't hear rich man became, we'll be saying, go call, say, maybe a driver, mm -hmm. been a gardener, and I ain't raped them. But the kind of structure where they're around them is still they more secure than that of person where we say they live for Munshi or person where they live for Makoko area. Mm -hmm. Maybe say the Mama Day Market 247, no housemaid and everything. And that kind of person, one brother for streets, feel rape or somebody or landlord for compound, you know, go fear them. So most of our initiatives, they targeted towards government-owned schools, really. So what if a school proprietress now, they or they actually hear you now, and they need um, your expertise to come and train the boy child in their school? How okay. can they reach you? Then if we call our number for 080 -921 -0009. Okay, I'm going to like ask them, because you're going to need to repeat that question mm, again, yes, the, the number again, even though they show on top of our screen. But in terms of, um, you give us a lot of statistics in terms of your post, um, post follow-up. Mm. Um, um, in fact, in terms of waiting the boys they talk and waiting some of the girls to talk, how they go change. But we know say a lot of times, we know say a lot of people give lip services. Mm. Wait, which other follow-up are they do to make sure that waiting these people talk, they're actually waiting they follow through in terms of action? Thank you very much for that um, question you asked. You know, for most of our initiatives, we, we know, say, because the resources where we get, no day so much. So like I talked, this school where we first go, now 40 boys we train. And I mean, we don't use one month to train these boys. And them don't be like Warif ambassadors. Presently, the school where we train, them don't they do the train, the trainer now. I mean, them they re-impact the knowledge where we don't give them now. Then they do like this mini group discussions. So we don't train 40 boys. Those 40 go train another 40. Mm -hmm. Before you know, the knowledge don't Pay pass forward. around mm -hmm. the school. But of course, we they do like follow-up visits to the schools as well to see, you know, not be say when we don't finish, we just cross our hand, say, ah, we don't work, finish, or that's all. We always do follow-up visits to go see the improvement. And of course, we they in contact with the school authorities, the principals of the school, the teacher, where they in charge of, you know, the class, where supervised during our visit to the school to get feedbacks and everything. Okay. I, don't, I, will, I will quickly, like, now, now uh, based on the fact saying that uh, government schools now when I want to start with or when I know they focus on uh, basically so in one way or the other uh, involve the government. Would it be government participation or is there any government participation at all concerning this particular uh, Boys Cafe uh, program? Okay, one uh, major government body what we do in collaboration with now the Lagos State Domestic and Sexual Violence Response Team, that's the DSVRT. We they work hand in hand with them and because we now only issues of sexual assault and rape, now we they attend to. Some people they call our center and say, ah, my husband beats me or mm -hmm. my boyfriend beats me. Domestic violence. Mm -hmm. You know, some people go say, ah, we see one woman, they always beat one child, they always child abuse. Mm -hmm. So when they bring that kind of person come to our center, we they refer them, go to this legal state, this government agency, DSVLT, to get, so when they come to our center, like I talk, we get in-house counselor, we say, you know, if now each we say maybe bruises there and they need medical attention, our in-house medical officer go attend to them. After which we go refer them to DSVLT to get proper care because now the area with them, they specialized on be that. Thank you so much, Chichi Obonaya, and the project coordinator, right? Project manager. Manager. Thank you. Um, thank you very much for letting us know. And we go surely, surely to give you updates concerning the Boys Conversation Cafe and how you feel actually keen to this. Come and sponsor, please. Sponsor this great initiative we need, we need because the they need your help. They really need your help. I think we'll take the video again so that you will get to know more concerning Women at Risk International Foundation. And also, if you want to call them, um, get the better number for you to actually call them, right? To enjoy more of this, our Ogun Get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.